What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel for another Diablo 3 wizard build for season 27. We're bringing you DMO Frozen Orb for GR90 speeds, okay? So the build is really, really cool. Uh, we're clearing stuff in between two to three minutes, which I think is fine for the wizard. Uh, I actually really enjoy this build and the power that came from uh, season 27 with the angelic crack, where arcane orb now periodically spawns up to four orbiting around you and then we'll generate additional one when you're casting and now they detonate at the same time which is really cool so we have an interesting build for you guys with dmo frozen orb it's a little bit different and unconventional with some things but as we do we're going to do a gr90 we're going to crush this and then we're going to go over everything that you're going to need to know for the build and how to play it so let's do this all right so we have in the cube we have uh the crown of premise so we get everything on slow time so you never need to cast this when we start we're going to pop storm armor and deflection magic weapon and then all we're going to do is teleport around because of the bubble we get infinite teleports and we're going to have surge of power with uh, electrocute to help get our arcane domino uh skill to five and then all we're doing is hitting everything with arcane orb this should be really really fun and really really cool build is very easy to play you're only clicking a couple buttons so let's do this all right we actually got a really good map so i like to do this get all five and you send them over you want to try to get that domino up all the time now remember when you're playing dmo that the majority of all your damage is going to come from ooh, is gonna come from enemies being stuck in our slow time, okay? It's a really cool different mechanic that they brought in for DMO, which is really, I think it's cool. Uh, it just kind of sucks for longer ranges, but other than that, I think the build is really fun. I mean, you're putting everybody in slow time, like everybody. Like everybody's super slow, they can't move. You're moving fast, you're like Goku Ultra Instinct on these guys. And you just dominate everything, okay? And what's better than throwing, like, big, huge Kamehameha-looking orbs? You know what? I take that back. Not kamehameha Inc. Vegeta Big Bang orbs at people and just destroying them like Android 19 in the Cell games, okay? In the Android Saga. Now, the build is very mobile, okay? You're able to just teleport around and just get everywhere. So you have that going for you. And then while everybody's in all of your slow time effects, you should really be untouchable, okay? And you see every time we hit people with a slow, with a primary attack, it puts slow time on them, which is really cool. One trick I like to do for, for this is like, I'll cast electrocute ahead. And then I'll, uh, that way I can fire my arc and orb. And sometimes if I get the stacks, I'll fire it. And then I'll hit it so that way when the orbs finally get there because they move so slow that it'll actually be inside a time bubble and then you get all that additional damage. Just a cool way to try to speed things up. But the build is really fun, guys. It's 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 an interesting build. It's, it's a lot different. Um, obviously, Firebirds and then, of course, Meteor is going to be a lot stronger than this. But I do think that the build is really, really cool. Very flavorful. Um, for wizards it's a lot different I'm, I'm glad they kind of reworked dmo in that way but uh hey mister and then you guys see like destroying a rift guardian is no problem on here just get your stacks up and absolutely destroy them now we're gonna level up this gem guys i'm gonna see you back in town for the gear all right guys we are back we cleared it in two minutes and 20 seconds pretty solid for for dmo uh between two to three minutes is good we want to try to keep this around two minutes on average as much as possible but still if we can do an average of 220 uh or a little bit less i think that's that's a big win okay so let's go over the build you're going to need the dmo set we're doing all six pieces we're not running a ring of royal grandeur in the set we're just going to use all six pieces and the reason that we're doing that is because we need certain pieces in the other slots um, you could probably do out with a couple of them but i really like this uh, so you got all sets uh, with the gear or DMO. So everything is going to be based around your slow time and doing increased damage with Frozen Orb. Okay, and then we're pairing that with the Ashgard Blood 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 Blood
Uh, we got the Shame of Dalzir for signature attacks, attack faster and restore arcane power. Then we got the Scorch Necklace for double damage, and I'm pairing the, that with Stone of Jordan and then Convention of Elements for just maximum elemental damage. In our weapons, we got uh, Trim of Rate, which is going to make our signature spells increase the damage of Arcane Orb, stacking up to three times, which is huge. And then, of course, Unstable Scepter, which is going to give us increased Arcane Orb damage, and it explodes an additional time with the Arcane Orb Angelic Crack power. Okay, now I do want to mention real quick that you could probably swap some of this out. Like if you didn't want to do Crown of the Premise to have it follow you, that would be fine. You put the shame in there and then you run like the Guardian set and take this off. But I'm not a big fan of that. We need everything and all the, the additional benefits from Slow Time. But I do want to highlight that real quick. So into our cube, guys, we're rocking Wizard Spike for performing an additional... Uh, when, when attacking, we get a chance for an additional orb, which is great, with increased damage for Arcane Orb. Crown of the Premise, which gives us all our runes. And then Halo of Karani for uh, more damage reduction paired with Storm Armor. Into our skills and defense, guys, we're rocking Electrocute, Surge of Power. And we want this to uh, hit as many enemies as possible and then give us Arcane Power back for each enemy hit. So it's kind of nice. It's like some uh, Palpatine stuff, you know? Power! Right, and then we got Arcane Orb, Frozen Orb, which deals a lot of damage for cold. Uh, teleport Wormhole to get around the map. And then Slow Time, just to make sure we have all of the uh, runes there. Storm Armor Scramble for more movement speed. And then Magic Weapon Deflection. Into our passives, we got Power Hungry to do additional damage. Uh, Illusionist for more movement speed after we hit uh, Teleport. Galvanizing War for more shield uh, protection. And then uh, Arcane Domino. I really like this because you hit with electrocute you're going to get your five triggers really fast and then your next non-signature spell which is going to be arcane orb is going to deal 60 percent additional damage it's a nice little uh thing in there you could swap arcane orb out um guys if you didn't want to you could do um dominance audacity elemental exposure if you really wanted to um even cold-blooded so you have a couple options there i just like arcane dynamo for more damage uh, which I think is really cool, especially against Rift Guardians. So our legendary gems, guys, we're rocking Bane of the Trapped, Bane of the Powerful, and then Zaya Stone of Vengeance, which is a huge banger for this build. Okay, into the stat priorities, as we always do, guys. In the helm, you want Intelligence, Crit Chance, uh, Arcane Orb Damage. In the shoulders, you want Intelligence, Vit, Area Damage, Cooldown. Gloves, you want Intelligence, Vit, Crit, Crit. Uh, ideally, you would swap out Vitality for uh, Cooldown Reduction, but that's fine. Into our chest piece, you're gonna want Intelligence Vit Armor. The belt, you want Intelligence Vit, uh, All Resist Armor. For the um, necklace, you want Crit Crit Area Damage, Bracers, Cold Skills, Intelligence Vit Crit Chance. Both the rings, uh, Stone of Jordan's a little bit different, but you want Cold Skills Crit Crit, uh, and then with uh, Increased Damage to Elites. For COE, you're gonna want Crit Crit Area Damage. Uh, for the Offhand, you want intel intelligence, damage, crit chance, arcane orb damage, and then attack speed, I would choose over cooldown reduction. And then, of course, in our scepter, uh, it can be any elemental damage we would want uh, cold, but that 10% damage, intelligence, and then attack speed. So those, oh, and then our boots. Intelligence, vit, arcane orb damage, and then armor. Okay, not regenerate, we want armor. So that's the stat priorities for the build, guys. It's a really, really cool build. It's very fun. I think it's just really cool and unique with the slow time aspect. Um, and I really like that they finally kind of re-engineered DMO because it has never really been like too strong. So this is really cool. Plus this build is gonna be strong even after season 27. We just won't get the additional um, RK orb spawns, but I still think the build will be pretty solid. So again, I do wanna mention that if you guys want to not focus so much on Crown of Premise, um if you guys wanted to you could swap crown of premise into your helm slot and then in the bell and bracers do guardians and then instead of halo you just rock uh royal ring of grandeur and then you swap out stone of jordan or coe for halo of karani i actually really like that idea so definitely give it a try so put guardians in here put crown of premise in your helm and then swap out uh, one of these two for Halo 
and then put Royal Ring of Grandeur in here, which would be, that actually would be really strong now that I think about it. Definitely try that out, guys. If somebody tries that out, let me know down in the comments below. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. All the support is absolutely amazing. So again, thank you guys so much. Um, if you guys have any other questions, comments, let me know down in the comment section. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.